today on Merce Beards and Gear, we're going to talk about imposter syndrome. As the world has been opening up and I've been seeing more and more of my friends and my friends that are in bands and on tour and, you know, inevitably when we're talking about how the last two years has gone, um, that kind of has been segueing very often uh, in my own conversations with my friends of imposter syndrome. Now, imposter syndrome is something I have touched on on, I think I've mentioned it in a few podcasts, but I don't think I've really mentioned it on this channel. And I thought we would, uh, we would go ahead and talk about musicians and well, in general, imposter syndrome. Now, what is imposter syndrome? Um, you know, imposter syndrome is different things for different people, but generally speaking, it's the feeling of inadequacy. It's a feeling of, oh, I am in this place or position, whether that's a sports team, that's your, uh, you know, your corporate office job, your band, your YouTube channel, whatever it is, it's a general feeling that, oh, well, if they, if they only knew the truth or, you know, maybe you're here by mistake and maybe um, it could end at any moment because you'll be found out. That sort of that sort of overall overreaching feeling. Now, I myself have crippling imposter syndrome. And for me, that, that has basically made it so every single day I have to reconvince myself that I need to work harder to validate the of what people think of me in terms of where I am at with, you know, my career as a content creator or a guitarist in a touring band or something like that. So every day that I wake up, I am starting over, <laughs> which, which does, I guess would have a few positive side effects. Um, one of the side effects is I am always trying to work harder. And I believe that I could always, always, do better and in some cases much much better in my mind there is never a oh cool well i've i've done i've i've hit that level of you know quality that i want i will never get there but i do realize that i will never get there in my head so i basically start from zero every day that i wake up now for other people it's just an overall feeling of not being good enough at what they do and having people not see that other people um it's just this intense pressure and what often that causes is bouts of anxiety and depression i don't really have bouts of anxiety i'm not i am not an anxiety ridden person at all however i do have you know everyone has ups and downs and i don't know where this comes from if you know i've done a little bit of research on it and it seems to be a lot with your environment which you grew up in if you have siblings if there's a lot of competitive things going on between you and your siblings if you're being compared to your siblings um things like that that's not always the case but i'm just kind of um regurgitating the things that i have seen and commonalities that i have seen when looking into imposter syndrome now, because most of my friends are musicians, more often than not, I will have friends that are in huge worldwide, you know, professional, long-term successful bands tell me that they feel like it could end at any second because, you know, their band will finally realize that they're not that great of a guitarist or songwriter or, or that, that the audience, the long-term decades long audience is will suddenly realize that the band is not good or something. That's how that manifests. And I always find that interesting because whenever someone tells me about their imposter syndrome, I, I'm always shocked. I'm always like, wait, what? Um, but also I'm always thinking, yeah, me too. Me too. I think, you know, this could end at any moment because someone is going to walk through my door or tag me in some Instagram post and everyone's gonna go, oh, your videos suck. And you know what, that may be. But what that creates for me is, I don't know, I guess a sense of humbleness. 
don't know if that's a word, humbleness, um, level-headedness, it will always end, it, in my mind, all of this will go away potentially tomorrow. So I'm gonna be the best that I can be right now. And if it ends, then you know what, that's okay. Um, I don't know, I've kind of made peace with it at this point. You know, I'm, I'm 41 years old at this point and you know, I've just kind of made peace with the fact that every day I have to start over and convince myself that I am worthy of my life. As weird as that sounds. Um, now, to someone who doesn't have imposter syndrome, it may seem ridiculous. And I have had a few family members that I have talked to and they they have like a really hard time. And you're like, they're like, wait, what do you mean? Like you did the work, so you're there. And I'm like, no, 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 but that doesn't matter because maybe I could have done it better or something. I don't know. It's so some people, some people, it's a totally foreign concept, which, you know, I'm slightly envious of. So if you have imposter syndrome, what are some of the things that you can do to kind of counteract the feelings of, of not being good enough or inadequate at your position or job or skill set? Often talking about it is the way to go. Talking about it and opening up and being vulnerable in that way is a very good remedy onto solving your imposter syndrome. Having input from others that you trust is also paramount. And talking about this, and I'm not talking about like, talk to your loved one, because there is definitely the element of like, you know, your mom will always say you're handsome kind of a thing. That's not someone who I'm gonna talk about to my imposter syndrome. I'm gonna talk to my peers about this. And I have, and it has helped me. And that is the reason why I'm making this video is because, you know, in all of my years of, of feeling like I am just some crazy imposter, you know, it's, it's my friends. It's my circle of friends that validate the things that I do. And so if you're feeling like you are having imposter syndrome, you know, talk about it, reach out, reach out to your bandmates, reach out to your best friend, reach out to, you know, your significant other and talk about it. Cause I guarantee you, you know, because it's imposter syndrome, there's lots of other people that feel this way as well. I hope this video has helped in any way, shape or form. If you are feeling like you are a huge imposter, having massive anxiety about being an imposter, you are not alone. I have it too. Many, many other people have it. And you know what? probably not the case. It's, I, you know what, I guarantee you it's not the case. You have worked hard for where you're at and you deserve to be where you are. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.